everyone, it's Julia, and welcome back to my channel. This year I have been working on stitching if, with free motion and putting words on my projects. If you've been following me, you know I've been working on this. Um, and I thought I would share today some of the tricks and tips that I have learned throughout this year. And also, a viewer had commented that she would be interested in seeing me actually do the stitching in real time instead of speeding it up at my sewing machine so she can see how fast it goes and how you know just a little bit more of, of the actual detail in the movement of it so I thought yeah I, I, that I can do that easily and so here goes some of the things I've, I've discovered first off is when I was when I was writing my words I would trace a computer font or like I saw a saying somewhere and I would print it off and I would trace that and I found that it's so much easier to do your own handwriting whether you like your handwriting or not I would recommend you start with your own handwriting it's it's a muscle memory and it's just your brain just automatically goes there and it's just easier to do and so I would recommend that some of the things that I do I usually always um, start with a piece of muslin or an Ossenberg cloth. Uh, a cotton canvas works really well. And I usually have it backed with a piece of quilt batting or just wadding. This is a, a warm and natural that I'm using. If you have a project that you don't want a batting to it, I would suggest getting a, a little some kind of hoop. This is a, just a, a tension hoop um, that you just snap into place. This is a seven inch I believe and you can do the movement quite easily with that. The, the fabric needs to be taut if it's just a single layer and then this can easily be repositioned at your at your sewing machine without taking the work out from underneath your sewing machine. If that makes sense. I hope it did. So I would recommend um, either using two layers or using a tension, a tension hoop. I'm going to go ahead and write my words on here. I do like using the, the pilot, pilot friction pens for this. Again, these are not, I've gone over this before on my channel, but these are not recommended for fabrics, but so always test. I have not had any problems with the muslin or anything with that. It doesn't leave any residue or anything with, with the lighter weight fat, lighter weight or lighter colored fabrics. Two, I just wanted to mention it's much easier to free motion stitch when you do a cursive in, versus a print, printing your letters. Everything is joined and you don't have to stop and start and you can just keep going in one easy movement. I'm going to take my camera over to the sewing machine and stitch this up. I have my free motion foot on. This is sometimes called a darner foot. I have my feed dogs dropped. I put brown thread on um, and I just have a regular bike bobbin thread in the bobbin. Lowering my pressure foot and I'm going to be doing the movement on this. I like to be able just to grab it on one corner and take off. If you are hooping it, I grab onto the hoop. Go back and forth a few times when I start just to, to get everything um, secured.
And then I go back and dot any I's or cross any T's that need to be done. And then it's back over to my ironing board. I did pretty good. I, I got off a little bit. You can still see my original pen lines. When I'm doing this, you have to keep in mind, my, my tripod is right in between me and the sewing machine, so it is a little bit of an awkward um, position. But these lines will easily disappear now with, with an iron. That's what I love so much about using these pens when I'm doing free motion. And now you can see the stitching with the lines completely gone. I hope this has given you some ideas and hints and just some tricks in, in starting this. Once you learn just the movement and just doing this, the sky is the limit and it's, it's a lot of fun. Happy Thanksgiving everybody. We'll see you again soon. Bye.